I'm Kevin Chen, and my company is called Hyacinth Bio. All right, so the product that we're developing is cannabinoids. So what we're doing is developing a new method of producing these molecules, which will enable any pharmaceutical company to um, you know, develop therapeutics based on the molecules from cannabis to treat you know, these different types, types of like, diseases, which ranges from anything from like, Alzheimer's to chronic pain to certain types of cancer and epilepsy. This is Charlotte Fiji. She suffers from a condition called Dervais syndrome, which is a rare form of epilepsy. At just a few months old, she had her first seizure, and by the age of five, she was having over 300 per week. Gradually, she lost her ability to walk, eat, and to talk. And some of these seizures were so intense that they even caused her heart to stop. And so her parents, desperate and out of options, tried treating her using medical marijuana. And the results were stunning. It reduced her seizures from 300 per week to less than 30 per year. So they started eating, walking, and even riding a bike. It gave her and her parents something much closer to normal life. We developed this company for a few different reasons. I mean, one, there's like obvious commercial goals involved that, uh, you know, putting this startup mentality and applying it to this problem is probably the fastest way to get this done. The reality is that the pharma industry has done a lot of consolidation and they it's almost more productive for them to buy out new startups than to pay a bunch of research facilities to develop things. If you're if you're developing a new pharmaceutical, you're not necessarily competing with the big pharmaceutical companies, but you know, they'll be aware of that we exist and might be a you know good acquisition opportunity. Realistically in the end, you know, our model is not necessarily to compete with them, but we're providing them a new method of developing pharmaceuticals. It's it's almost unfair to have like, something that's so interesting medically and having such like interesting effects from like curing certain types of cancer, like completely kind of thing. Um, you can't just like observe that and not want to understand how or why that works and how to apply that in different context. I was worried that I would spend the day here and just have that kind of had that be like a bit of a waste of time where it's like, you know, I still have to, I have to be in the lab most of the time and just like working hard to like build this thing out. But yeah, I didn't expect to win necessarily. And because we're in such a different space compared to a lot of the other startups that are focusing on like tech and wearables and things like that, it's hard to, you know, often hard to communicate what we're actually doing and have people understand it, you know, both on the technical side and also on like what it actually means for, um, you know, investment in the industry and stuff like that. So in general, I go in with like a pretty clear head and say like, all right, you know, my goal is to convince these people that at least that they learn something new today um, and not necessarily, even if they don't choose to like, you know, invest or enjoy what I'm saying, but they at least can go home saying like, yeah, I learned something.